Simon, open! Artyom, my god tells me something is very wrong with this place. Remember our agreements. I'm counting on you, kid. Come on. <laughs> nice little grill. I promise you, dear, I will come back and lubricate you. Also get you new paint. Here is the market. Stay calm. Uncle Bourbon will get us in. No! Open up! Don't let your two-legged brethren die a foolish death! sense of humor. Are my eyes playing tricks? Bourbon, old friend, is that you? And I've given up hope of ever seeing you alive again. Simon, look who the snuff scared us. God damn it. We stepped in this shit now. Hey, Mikhailovich, what a coincidence. I was just coming to visit you. You hear that, boys? Set out the conditions. Bourbon's come to visit. 
Now, don't go running off, Berman. We've got a little job to finish, then we'll get back to you. Remember where you should wait for me? I do, I do. You sure? I can help you, remember? You get me, right? Absolutely. What are you getting this time around? Who was the boy? Look here, boss. I'm sure we can work this out. Sure? Let's go and chat a little. And you keep an eye on this one, huh? Don't move! Stand still, I'm talking to you! Pass. Welcome to the market. Let's move our asses. Or would you like to enjoy their company a little? Watch your tongue. <laughs> We're in deep shit. No way I can pay back those railcar guys. We'll be lucky if they let us shovel shit it's for the rest of our days. Right in the middle of that door. When I saw it years ago, there were charred bodies. And signs are still seeping. It was a nightmare. Well, the train is difficult to traverse. I can't go around it since the tunnel roof has given in and all the space between the carriages and the tunnel walls is completely Very strange. with soil. A detachment of scouts went off into the tunnels and didn't report back. I mean, they were seasoned men, so the station commander figured they got held out by a cave in warm, flooded chambers. A patrol went after them. The tunnels were clear. No signs of firefight, no body parts, no blood. The scouts had vanished without a trace. So the commander wrote it up as an act of desertion. Chicken shit the hell with them, that's what he said. So, the new way to the fuss. Again, no sound, no smoke, so hard to hear. The citizens are kissing up at their victims by now. Then, two more squads made it. So, they said that they had to buy furniture, 300 meters out. Sandbags, spotlights, machine guns. And they wait. Hi. But for what? There's something what out there. What will it be? And it's putting a chill in their bones. What's up? If anyone reads me, respond. It's Moscow, Market Underground Station. She's hot for me, I tell you. Oh, did she give me a look yesterday? What kind of look? What do you care? I'm meeting her today after the watch. No, she promised to go with me to pick mushrooms. You bastard! Well, say that again, you asshole! What's your situation, man? All quiet, Igor Vladimirovich. 
Though I smell a rat for some reason. <laughs> Move it, boy. Move! Uh, how about some moonshine? What's the occasion? Driver's Day again? My son said his first word. <sighs> the boss is busy. Was Come back Mama later. Or Papa? Neither. It was fire! <laughs> a little soldier, just like you. Uh, yeah, just like me. You know, ever since that time the vampires came pouring out of the side town, I dream of them every night. There I am, commanding my squad. But their guns are down, and everybody's drunk. These walking corpses are attacking, and I'm screaming, Open fire, you bitches! Open fire! Fire! But my men can't hear me. They wake up soaked in sweat, and my wife and kid are... Have a drink. Okay. Just tell me what it's about. I'll go ask Mom to make a sandwich. It's about three hunters who went to Polozhevsk. I have to think. Before or after it was wiped out? After, of course. So, what happened? They found out it hadn't been attacked by anyone. It was just the Lord of the Tunnels who made them all kill each other. Wow, that's cool. Now get that sandwich! But for I already know everything. Let's go, Wheels! You brat! You dry him up! My cousin said if kids go too far, they get caught by the mutants. And the mutants eat the kids' brains, and those kids become mutants too. So when you see your friend, he can then... Roar! Your brain gets eaten! Wow, cool! Take a look at these here knives. Slice of meat or shrooms up. They are all sharp too. It's a bit too expensive. Mm -hmm. So, there's this long tunnel from Sukarevskaya to the nearest inhabited place, where long travelers tend to disappear. A caravan with a dozen men can make it through, and the ones who do say there's nothing suspicious about the tunnel itself. It's quiet and empty. There are no side branches, nowhere to get lost. But the next day, someone who's heard how nice and safe that tunnel is decides to go there alone, and vanishes like a ghost. The stalker said that you must never look at the Kremlin when you are up there outside. The stars on the top of the towers are mesmerizing. One look, and you won't be able to turn your eyes away. And after a few moments, you get drawn in. And all the gates are conveniently open. That's why the stalkers never go to the Great Library alone. If one of them looks at the Kremlin, the other can make him come to his senses. Bullets exchange! You won't find better rates in Hall Metro! It's a bit too expensive.
need ammo? Ask me. Hey! All problem gone. You can shave with it. Make sure you can count to five, eh? Lose your target to pieces. Agree. Take, take. Great raid. The passage is open for residents and local workers only. Hey, Mom, let's buy a rat. Shut up, Kate. I already bought you one last week. It's a bit too expensive. Uh, prospect Mira. If they catch a merchant with it, they confiscate his stuff and kick him out of the station. And Alex says, you got nailed twice. One time the force, and enemy didn't want to destroy the Kremlin. So during the initial strike, they hit it with a secret... Well, I made an arrangement with the guy here. He's a greedy asshole, but we can't do anything about that. Great. Let's go then. I think you already know the way. Bourbon? As if you don't know. Go fuck and get out. I've already paid, Mike. You didn't pay me. But if you don't want to go through... Shit. A pleasure doing business with you. All right, all right. Just kidding. Get ready, everyone! The gate's opening! Are you sure, Commander? Take your positions! Cover me! Sam, I hate this so much.
Move it, kid. When we emerged into the ruins of Moscow, I felt both fear and sorrow. But after a life on the ground, I also saw strange beauty in the dark skies and frozen landscape. So that's the dead city, grunted Bourbon. Welcome home, Artyom. Be really careful now. And here we meet a happy citizen. Stalkers. Those crazy devils come to the surface almost every day, looking for scrap, ammo, anything they can dig up. Sometimes you find the dead ones frozen stiff, like snowmen in rags. <laughs> Search the room carefully. You might find another cache here. They often make hideouts for themselves on the surface, just in case. So just take a careful look around. There are no problems with spare filters or any living up there. Ah, what have we got here? Ah, that surely come in handy. Thanks, friend. Let's go. We've got to reach the air shaft, which will boost to get to Dry Station. 
Then we go our separate ways and you'll get my AK like I promised. Hi, kid! Stay hidden. If we meet the beast in the open, crawl into the nearest crevice. Some people call these demons, I call them bitches. So that's the dead city. Welcome home, Artyom. Jump! I'll catch you! Don't step in the puddles. You'll we'll get irradiated and shit. See that gated building? Your target is a vent in the backyard that leads to dry station. I'll wait for you in the building. There's a range of hideout on the upper floor. Make it quick. Don't eat yellow snow. 